The Mercedes S-Class has always been a great car to be chauffeured in, and sitting here, I can tell you this latest version definitely continues that tradition. There's a choice of layouts, including this three-person bench seat, and two individual chairs that are separated by a large centre console with cup holders that will heat and cool your drinks, and tables that fold out so you can do some work on the move. You can even specify a pack that lets you move the front passenger seat right forward out of the way, so the person behind can recline their seat to almost 45 degrees and bring out a footrest. Now, as you'd expect from a luxury saloon, the interior is beautifully finished, with lots of high quality metal detailing, double stitched leather, and bespoke switch gear. However, the cabin also feels very modern because the dashboard is dominated by these two giant displays that show everything from your speed and sat nav instructions to the entertainment menus. As in other Mercs, you scroll through the various menus using a rotary dial that's positioned between the front seats. This time though, the shortcut buttons are positioned by that dial rather than up on the dash. This makes them easier to find and to use. Some of the buttons even have raised braille-like dots, which helps you tell them apart simply by a touch. Plus the telephone keypad doubles as 12 programmable shortcuts and the voice control system works well. Finding a comfortable driving position is easy too, thanks to an electrically adjustable seat that moves every which way. And if you want, you can program it to give you a hot stone massage. Pick of the range is the S350 Bluetech, which is what we've got here. It delivers effortless performance and is one of the most refined diesels we've driven. Now the same can't be said of the engine in the S300 Hybrid, because that's actually quite gruff and it transmits some vibration through the pedals. Fortunately, every S-Class is brilliant at shutting out wind and road noise, and there's just the old clonk from the suspension over bumps. You can specify a suspension system called Magic Ride Control, which uses a camera to read the road ahead so it can actually prepare itself for bumps. Even the standard setup provides a very comfortable ride though, and the S-Class is actually surprisingly agile for such a big, heavy car. You might want to think twice about employing that chauffeur after all. In fact, Mercedes actually reckons that the S-Class could drive itself if it wasn't for some pesky laws that don't allow this. What you can specify is a driver assistance pack that lets the S-Class automatically follow the car in front in traffic, as long as you keep your hands near the wheel. So, like previous versions of the S-Class, this one is a technological showcase, but Mercedes hasn't forgotten about the simple practicality. You get a large boot that's easily big enough to swallow your golf clubs. The S-Class is also one of the most refined, comfortable and luxurious cars on sale today. And if you go for the S350 Bluetech model, it's also surprisingly efficient. OK, some of its rivals are a little cheaper, but if you want the best, it's the S-Class. And let's be honest, if you're in the market for this sort of car, you can afford to spend the extra. For more information, search S-Class on whatcar.com. And while you're here, click subscribe so you can watch all our other videos.